Hey, horror fans, thanks for joining me for this review of The Last Rite. Uh, cast and crew information down below, poster and a few pics at the end of the video. And uh, let's jump into this IMDb plot to get us going. A medical student suffering from sleep paralysis finds herself plagued by a demonic enemy after moving in with her boyfriend. Oh, it always happens after you move in with somebody. Yeah, the true evil happens one way or the other. Anyway, The Last Rite here. Uh, new film I've been uh, sharing the hell out of, at least on, on a lot on Instagram and some on Facebook for PromoteHorror.com. And uh, I'm glad I finally got a chance to catch it. Uh, the podcast got a chance to do an interview. Unfortunately, uh, I was not able to uh, make that interview and that do that podcast um, with the with the guys and, and with everybody. Um, so I missed out on that one, but uh, you know, oh well. Um, instead, I'm here and uh, let's talk a little bit about this movie. Uh, this is an exorcist movie, exorcism movie. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm okay with exorcism movies. I, I, you know, to me, I kind of feel in a way I've seen everything there is to see, or at least, you know, they kind of have their own way, and, 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 and you kind of have your expectations, and the same certain things kind of happen during them. Um, you try to look for, for something new, something different. Um, usually, the, you know, if anything that comes in the, in the way of the story of, of getting there but you know when it comes to the exorcism itself it, it seems that you know <clears throat> a lot of it is the same um, you know you, you have the person screaming and, and voice changes and jump you know being chained down and maybe breaking the chains and and stuff like that you know it's it's tough it's tough to to you know I guess find a way to do something different um, you know, I, I wish there was new ways in, in doing it. Um, you know, not to take away any from any of the extras in the movies, there's, there's still plenty of good movies, um, and, and I'll give you my verdict on this one soon, but, um, you know, there's plenty out there that's still good. <clears throat> it's just, you know, when you just want something a little different, and, and I guess, um, you know, these movies make it hard, hard to do. Um, anyway... As far as, as the story here, um, we have uh, Lucy, who, like like it's mentioned, moves in with her boyfriend, and um, you know she's hoping things go well, but he's he's having some struggles of his own, and uh, he's. He's going to be, the, the, his name is Ben, and uh, let's just say he's going to be a character that, at least in my mind, I was I was definitely rooting against, and I was just hoping that whatever possessed her was just going to rip him apart, and just, just waiting for that to happen. He is uh, a little bit back and forth, like he's, he's nice one moment, and he's mean the next. Uh, he's he's feeling the stress at work and I guess even from moving in with her and, and the relationship end of it and uh, when that stress kind of gets to him he flips and he's got an, uh, an anger issue in him and he's definitely a character you're, you know, or at least I wasn't rooting for I don't think you're going to root for him uh, even when things go bad uh, didn't you know didn't like him at all was just, just was hoping the possessed entity here uh, would just, just shred him up, apart. Um, you know, he's, he's like one of those guys who realizes that, you know, he made a mistake and then he would try to make it up to Lucy. Uh, but then the second that, you know, something would go wrong or whatever, he would just be mad all over again. Um, that didn't help her when, when I guess she started having her episodes of sleep paralysis. Um, around three o'clock or so in the morning, she, she'd have some issues sleeping and uh, some weird stuff would start happening and uh, there were times when you know as this starts taking her over and she starts becoming concerned with this uh, he's, he's not very open to this and he's kind of additionally mean to her uh, doesn't help her issue and doesn't make you like him and, and so forth um, there <clears throat> uh, 
Don't want to go too far in this since this is a new movie. Don't want to spoil anything. Try to be as spoiler-free as possible, as usual. Um, she starts seeing a figure, and I'll say that it's a pretty creepy figure. I, I liked it. It was It's kind of like a dark figure with a hat. Um, I liked the use of it. It, it was creepy enough. Um, you know, it was, it was definitely something that... that you know, I guess you can argue whether they, they used it too much, but, but I, I liked it. I, I thought it would, it gave a very creepy element to it. Um, they tried, I guess, some other times to maybe give you a jump scare or two um, with kind of her battling her issues of, of, you know, not knowing when she's sleeping or when she's awake or when she's kind of coming in and out of it. Um, I believe there was a, you know, again, I don't know, there's another good, decent scene that reminded me of, of uh, one of, something that kind of happened in one of the paranormal activities. Um, not not as jump scary as that, because that, that was one of my favorite ones. Um, but it, it just kind of gave me a reminder of it. This was more of a, the after effect than actually um, catching it happen. Um, but yeah, they, they try to get you a little bit. Not, not, I, don't, I don't think they're going to get you anything big time here. Uh, but I, I definitely think one of the creepiest things in the movie is definitely the, this figure in the black hat uh, that you're going to see several times. Um, so she's going to kind of battle through this, and um, you know she thinks it's a sleep thing, but then later thinks it's a religious thing, and then that's kind of when you're going to spend down this this and head down this tunnel of, of we're going to need an exorcism eventually. Um, She's obviously going to confront the father and ask him for help. And, you know, is he the right man or not? You know, I, watching it, you're clearly like, yeah, this guy's probably not the guy to help her. Uh, but he is, I guess, her only hope. And, um, you know, he leans on somebody else. And uh, you're going to find out a little bit more of why her, why she's going through this and so forth. I don't want to get into that. I don't want to spoil that for you. Um, but there's a little bit of reasoning why why it is her and uh, why it is happening to her and uh, why it seems to be a, a religious topic for her and, and not just um, something she's battling in her sleep or not something paranormal and so forth. Um, you're going to find out what is going on here with, with her and why she's here. And then, of course, as we hit the back half of the movie, you're going to eventually run into an exorcism, which is not, you know, not, it's not breaking news here, an exorcism-type movie. And uh, I'll let you guys watch that and, and see what you guys think of that. Um, I, I thought it was okay, but again, uh, didn't necessarily offer anything, you know, big time and in, in, in something new, um, something that we might not have seen. You know, everybody has their own way of kind of doing it and, and bringing forth but you know again like I said it's hard to bring something new new to the table um, you know I, I guess you know the, an exorcism is an exorcism being possessed is being possessed and you know there's not too many ways to, to go about it um, I will say uh, Beth Dane Waller who plays Lucy handles it pretty well she does a good job uh, I, I think she, she, she's you know give you a good performance when it comes to being the exorcism is um to me i think it's it's a very tough thing i think um you know when, when you look at horror and some of the roles that you have in it i, I think someone who's really uh, being possessed and, and having to play that part i think uh that is one of the more difficult things to play in horror uh you know when, when you're behind a mask you, you don't always have to to you know, show your emotions and stuff like that, and, and being possessed, you have to show possession, so show emotions, you know, both good and bad, you know, uh, being the person who's trying to fight it, and being, obviously, then flipping that and, and being whatever the possessed uh, demon is, and, and bringing that out, so I, I think, um, you know, that that is one of the harder things to do in, in horror, um, and I think she does a pretty good job. I think the, the last couple of movies that I've seen with somebody possessed in, in possession movies, whoever's done that role has done a, a pretty good job. And, and um, you know, a credit to, to them and a credit to, to Bethane here. And, um, 
you know, credit to whoever is casting the, these people because, uh, you know, if you have somebody who's uh, not believable or not pulling it off, they, that that could just ruin everything by itself. Um, because that's obviously the final, usually the final act here, and, and, and the most important moments. Um, I think that this film is, is going to leave you off in, I'm not going to say the most unique manner. Uh, I think, you know, some exorcism movies, you've kind of gotten the feeling it kind of ended the same way as this one. Um, uh, I'm going to be spoiler free and not be too specific with what I say, but... Um, you know, it's going to leave you off and you're going to be like, yeah, okay. Um, I, I can see that. And, and I guess, you know, in a way, I, I tipped it off with something I just said a minute ago. Um, but um, I like that. I, I like, the you know, having that kind of ending and, and so forth. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't bother me in these circumstances. Um, and, and I think that when you do an exorcism movie, that there's always um, room for that and and um, you know, I'm being very vague and encoded here, but uh, maybe you'll get it, maybe you won't, I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, you know that, I, again, you know, and, and even though I, I, I didn't like the character, I, I think um, Johnny Fleming, he played Ben, he does a good job, and, and you know, it, it's, it, the acting is pretty good uh, along the way with everybody in it. <clears throat> I think they, you know, Again, I think that the money shots here really with, with this, this dark figure and, and the creepy hat, I, I think, um, you know, that is, that, that's kind of be going to be what kind of carries you. Uh, there is another scene where, where she kind of, um, when she kind of does some figuring out of what's going on here, um, she's going to meet a woman and, and have an co interesting conversation. So um, that's another key moment. And then, of course, the, the exorcism moment. I, th I think they, they did a pretty good job of, of kind of leading you along the way. Uh, let's see. How long is it? Uh, the movie is an hour and 47 minutes. So um, maybe you wish they kind of could have gotten there a little bit quicker. And I, I think there was, there was room for that. You know, they, they, I think... Pretty much early on, you you, could, you you kind of get a grasp of their relationship, and but um, you know what I mean. They almost try to kind of tilt you to you know having him be mean to her is, is kind of the reason why this kind of starts. Um, but I think you know as as you go on and later on you find out there's other things going on at play, so maybe they didn't need to go at it as long as they did. Um, you know, maybe they could have trimmed that down a little bit. I guess, you know, and I'm just saying that as if you were looking for an area to trim, um, that would be it. Um, and then maybe, maybe move, move just a little bit quicker to, to getting, you know, the priest. And once the priest comes, um, getting him in, on board and, and getting to, to the point. Because, um, you know, it's not like she, she gets to him and, and it's like, bam, okay, let's try this exorcism. I mean, um, you know, he has to go through his own um, deciding and, and so forth and, and certain things that have to happen in, in order to kind of get him on, on board. Um, and then there's a, another time um, where he has a sit down with another priest and talking about doing the exorcism and so forth. So, you know, they kind of had to squeeze all these things in there. So um, an hour and 47 minutes, you know, I, I don't think it, it felt like it was that long, but... Um, you know, I guess, you know, I guess it, there were, there was room, I guess, to trim it if they wanted to. Um, I know, you know, some, some people nag on that point once it gets kind of over an hour and a half. Um, anyway, I, I you know, I'm, I'm glad I finally got to see this movie. Like I said, I, I did a lot of promoting for it or sharing it on, with Promote Horror. And i um, glad I finally got a chance to catch it. Um, and, and, you know, I'm... I'm kind of figured that this, you know, sometimes I, I kind of see a movie and, and uh, that's kind of sharing before before it even hits and before I have any idea that it's, whether it's good or bad or what, but you just kind of have that feeling that, that you want to share it and, and and hope that it turns out good and hope horror fans will like it. Um, so yeah, in turn, I liked it. I didn't find anything wrong with it. Uh, I don't, you know, it, it's, I don't think it's going to blow you away and be the, the best exorcism movie, but it's definitely not the worst exorcism movie. Um, you know, I, I believe this is the director's first or second film. 
so he does a pretty good job overall so you know it, it, it's just it's just a solid movie um you know i guess that's the best way to say it and, and with that i'm gonna give it three pools of blood uh that's out of five you know just solid all around it's gonna give you you know some creepy moments definitely with the man in the hat um it's gonna give you a good exorcism again i don't think it's gonna necessarily hit you off with too much new stuff but um it's gonna give you a, a good final act some dramatic stuff happening some suspense um but maybe nothing totally new i like the way it ended off i like the, the final scene kind of there and um you know again um, some good acting, especially from from Bethan, Bethan um, being the the character that that who's going to ultimately be possessed here, and you know she does does well in, in some of the stuff leading up to to that exorcism as well. So yeah, let, let, let's wrap that up. And uh, three pools of blood again, and that's again out of five. Horrible Gory Reviews dot com is where you can find more of my reviews. Uh, the written ones are there. Um, certainly a plane to go by. Um, cast, um, not cast, that's going back to the beginning. Uh, Twitter, Facebook down below as well. Comment section, comment on this video. Um, comment on the movie if you've seen it. Uh, if you're looking for something um, for me to review, you can do it there or reach out to me on social media, Twitter or Facebook. Um, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you're just looking for the video reviews. Up, subscribe that's the easiest way to get them uh, sometimes they land there a little bit before they do on the blog so um, you know that's that's the best way to get them and like or dislike the, the video based on the video or the movie of, of choice here you know whatever uh, no pressure either way do it or don't do it it's okay um, with that I'm not I'm glad I'm not possessed and uh, Glad I'm not performing an exorcism, and I will be catching you on the next review, horror fans.